Relocating the Fremantle rail line underground was the catalyst to reconnect the Perth CBD and North Bridge directly for the first time in more than 100 years. This second stage of the Perth CityLink project will see the construction of a new $249 million underground bus station, which will see the full realisation of this vision. Funded by both state and local government, this will be the final transport component of the Perth CityLink project. City Bus Port Alliance consists of three entities. The first entity is the owner participant, which in this case is the Public Transport Authority, the PTA. The second and third entities are the NOPS, which are the non-owner participants, and that is Brookfield Multiplex Engineering Infrastructure and BGE and Consultants. So the Alliance works by bringing people and processes from the entities to form a single company or entity that exists solely to perform the objectives of the project. We bring the best of the parent companies together. So the Alliance works by everyone working towards the common goals. That means that everyone has to care about all of the objectives, including meeting the budget, meeting the amenity specifications, and performing the work on time. The City Busport Alliance will deliver a state-of-the-art underground busport. One of the key features of that busport will be that it will have what's called a dynamic stand allocation system. And in a way, the bus stands won't be fixed, they'll be dynamic. So they may change from day to day or even from minute to minute to basically let the bus port function in the most efficient way possible. It'll be very user friendly, it'll be a good place to be, it'll be light and bright, and it'll be a great place to catch the bus.